out, out back. Yeah, so we're going to take a quick break. After these words, we'll be right back with some more nerd talk and, can't forget about it, Incredibles 2. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. It's an incredible show. Music history. Go ahead. Ask me anything. What was the number one song this week in 1967? I don't know. That was like 50 years ago. I guess it was a Beatles song? Wrong. Roll again. Okay, music history again. Go. What was the number one song this week in 1981? How the heck am I supposed to know this stuff? You obviously aren't listening to my show, The Classic Countdown. It's where we count down the biggest hits of the week, but not from this year. We go back in time to the 60s, 70s, and 80s, giving you the biggest hits of the week. I know I can beat this game. Let me try one more time. I don't believe it. Music history again. My favorite subject. What was the number one song this week in 1977? All right, I'll listen. When is it on? Listen to the Classic Countdown with me, Zach Turkel, Wednesday evenings at 6 on the voice of Nassau Community College, 90.3 WHPC, and on the iHeartRadio app. I gotta go get ready for my show. Later. I guess I win by default. Winning. Can you the fall show? If I ever... Ireland and the Irish are known for their music. Irish music started about 1000 BC and has remained a major part of Irish culture and tradition. It has influenced many genres of music such as country, rock, and classic. Hear it all when the voice of Nassau Community College presents Full Irish, Saturday mornings at 11 a.m. I'm the host of Full Irish, Gary Power. Listen as I present a range of music from Ireland, from traditional to modern. Music that lifts your spirit and transports you to the Emerald Isle. Listen Saturday mornings at 11 a.m. on the voice of Nassau Community College, 90.3 WHPC. Slán August Bonnet. It's now easier to listen to the voice of Nassau Community College on your phone. Stay connected to your favorite radio station anywhere you go on the iHeartRadio app. Never miss shows like the Nassau Morning Madhouse, It's Saucy, or the Radio Rumble again. Streaming 24-7, 365. Listen to WHPC everywhere. iHeartRadio is radio and unlimited music all in one app. Listen live now in the iHeartRadio app and at iHeartRadio.com. Just search for 90.3 WHPC. All right, I killed Colton. That's it. He's dead. He's dead. Oh, all right. He's dead and gone. Welcome back to Nerdvana, everybody. Dead and gone, right here and gone. on 90.3 <laughs> WHPC. My name is Joe Ritter. Here with Justin Greenberg. Hey, hey! And the ghost of Colton Murray. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I love you're going to go. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that's the sound of? I had Colton Murray, who went the way of Bob Hoskins. <laughs> oh, poor Bob Hoskins. <laughs> Speaking of video games and Bob Hoskins, you can win two tickets to the oh. Long Island Retro Gaming Expo 2018. It's coming to the Cradle of Aviation Museum in Garden City on August 11th and the 12th. In Garden City. You can play retro favorites, browse gaming vendors, participate in panel discussions, listen to live music performances, bring your best cosplay, and more. There's also going to be some awesome tournaments. Which I'm Smash excited. Ultimate. <laughs> yeah. You know what's going to be Mario! there? Mario! <laughs> Mario Tennis will be there. Oh, dude. And Marvel vs. Capcom, too. All right. Quick, quick, uh, just want to quickly ask. Are you guys hyped for the new Mario Tennis? Absolutely. For the absolutely. It looks nice. I've heard, yeah. uh, you know, my buddies have played the demo. They said it's really good. So I it think, looks fun. I it, think that's a game I need to get. Yeah, it's definitely a clean looking game, you know? I I wasn't a fan of Ultra Smash. It was yeah. You know what the right. problem is with the Switch. And by the way, if you want to win those tickets, I'd say just call up now. Yeah. Uh, the number to call and win is five one six five seven two seven four four zero. Once again, five one six five seven two seven four four zero. And I think you should write that number down and then put it in your phone. Save it at WHPC hotline or request line, and you know you'll be the first one to always dial up in case you know this isn't for you. This uh, retro gaming exhibit, 
There's other things. We give away concert tickets. We give away, you know, food prizes and a, b- a bunch of great food stuff. Food prizes. <laughs> We've literally given away like twenty five dollars worth of food. My dude, I gave away on uh, on the retro mix. I gave away a ticket to a uh, ticket, a gift card to uh, what is it? Burger Burgerology. Yeah, my buddy actually won that as well a few uh, months ago. Dude, I actually went there on uh, on recommendation, and oh my god, it's good stuff. Milkshakes are ridiculous. So I'd say diabetes that, in a cup. <laughs> but like, <laughs> put that number in your phone, 516-572-7440. And if you want to win these two tickets to the Long Island Retro Gaming Expo, call it up right now. And what were we talking about? Oh yeah, the Switch in Mario Party. You know, and just you know Mario Tennis as well. I don't really like. I uh, listen. I haven't played the Switch in a while. I haven't turned on my Switch since Christmas Day. Uh, really? I think the, yeah. I think the problem with that is I need another controller, the Pro controller, because I have the one Pro controller that I use to play, you know, Mario Odyssey with. But say if I'm going to have buddies over to play Mario Tennis, are they going to use question. the little Joy-Con thingy? Do you have um? Do you have that adapter for the Wii U, for the GameCube controller? Yes. Okay, that works for the Switch. I saw that because we were actually playing Mario Odyssey with the GameCube controller, but I don't think it was supposed to be played with that. So you can't do certain things uh, because, you know, there's no centers in there in the GameCube controllers. I guess. But, uh, like, if you think you'd be able to play Mario Kart for the Switch, would you be able to use the GameCube controller? I think so. Uh, I think it, you can go into the options menus and map mm-hmm. out certain controls on certain buttons. Because, I, I, like I said, I'm not a fan of, you know, having to, you know, split up the, and, you know, use one little tiny Joy-Con. It's such a tiny controller. Yeah, it I don't really like is. These big old hands. I don't think you could play Mario Kart Switch with a uh, GameCube controller. Because... One big part of it, whenever you are jumping from object to object, you have to like flip the controller. Yeah, but you can't well, do that. With like the, I was just telling him, you can probably go into the options Google menu. It. Yeah, so I don't know, but I don't know, but that's like a that's a weird thing. I don't think you could. I don't know. I'm I mean, not Nintendo's sure. not exactly known for allowing customization of their. Uh, I know controls. that's what, that's what I'm saying. So. But I I think it might be you know it might be a thing you can do. I don't know. I hope so. You know what you can play. Is the new Super Smash Brothers will be able to play yes. with the GameCube controller? Of course, which looks awesome. I saw a really funny article. It's uh, you know the the hardtimes.net. It's kind of like an onion. Okay, type yeah. Site. What they have? Um, it was <laughs> it was really good. It was uh, a purist surgeon uh, refuses to perform surgery, uh, any type of robotic surgery, with anything except a GameCube controller. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's great. It was really. It good. is a good controller. Oh, it's a phenomenal. Phenomenal controller. That's I'd say one of my favorites. I would, not my favorite. I list uh, the five best controllers of all time. The uh, ColecoVision. <laughs> you're right. The <laughs> telephone controller. Yeah. The Zap um, Gun. The the Power Glove. <laughs> of course. <laughs> um. The uh, the Zapper. Yeah. The Zapper from uh, NES. Yeah. Um, the joystick from Atari. Oh uh, god, uh, those age so bad. Yeah, I work at right. the video game trading post for my other job, and uh, we sell you know Atari stuff every now and then. Yeah. And we have a whole bucket of Atari controllers, and a lot of them, you know, we, it's hard to find that perfect Atari controller because you know it's a forty-year-old controller and it just right. doesn't age well. It's you know hard to turn it. But the cool thing about the Atari twenty-six hundred is you could actually plug in. Sega Genesis controllers. Really? Mm-hmm. So that works really well. So I always recommend people that are picking up Atari, you know, if you want the nostalgia factor, oh, yeah. pick it up, but then also buy a Genesis controller. Oh, yeah, the, the the ports are the same. Yes, sir. That's really cool. I didn't yeah. know that. You have uh, an Atari, right? I do. So you should get a Genesis controller. I have one. All right, so then do That's it. That's awesome. I didn't but, know that. That's really cool. Yeah, it's kind of strange because, you know, it's just it's an too, entirely different company. Exactly. Like, it's, it's so weird that, you know, you're able to do that. And it's strange. Yeah. I saw we were playing uh, Mario Brothers, which uh-huh. was released on Atari. It's like the arcade port. Right. Uh, from the arcade game where you basically just Mario Luigi. You have to hit the coins and kind of, you know, destroy each other. We were playing that. We were playing Mario on an Atari with a Genesis controller. Oh. How crazy is that? Oh, my God. You <laughs> take a shower colliding. after that? Yeah. You, you feel dirty. <laughs> it's just very, very strange. But, yeah, I, I think, you know... I'm going to have to invest in another, you know, Switch Ultimate controller. Yeah, no, those are those are really pro cool. Pro controller. Uh, I would list my top favorite controllers of all time. Yeah, let's hear them. Up top, like legitimately, up top, 
uh, GameCube controllers up top. Yeah. Because it's just, it's so practical. You it's know, great. It's, that's about it. Uh, next is the Xbox 360 controller. Yeah, and I would lump in the Xbox One. Well, it's, it's the same it's controller. literally the same exact controller. You know? I think my one and two are, are, I wouldn't even, I might switch it. I might have the Xbox as the first one just because I like... Uh, the placement of the uh, the I triggers. Like, I like the Xbox 360 better than the one. Than no, well, oh, then, then the then the GameCube. GameCube? Yeah, yeah, I think so too. I but just I just great. think it's well, because you play more Xbox games. You play more games that are suited to that controller. No, it's just I like the Xbox. Well, not even that. It's just I like the Xbox 360 controller better, just because the con- the triggers on. The GameCube, I think, are just too big. I think they're just too big in general. Whereas the 360, they're just big enough to be there, and they're just big enough where you know you can slide your fingers. Well, they're and actually get them. triggers. They're not. They're buttons on the GameCube controller. I know, but they're I'm saying weird, they're weird clicky buttons. Yeah, well, I don't like those weird clicky. <laughs> I like the weird buttons. clicky buttons. Sorry. Um, what else do you have on there? I think it would go down next is the uh, the PlayStation controller because that has weathered so many generations. Yeah, of PlayStation. it's pretty much the same design from the first PlayStation. Absolutely, it and it's it's held up very well, mm-hmm. and it's a very functional controller, and it's just comfortable. What to else use is it, Barry? Very nice and very, very, nice. Uh, very colorful. And they're very nice. They're very by nice. Wild and crazy guys. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, I like. You know what? My second favorite controller is going to be what? Good old mouse. Ugh, keyboard I hate this and mouse. guy. We get it. You play computer games. <sighs> we understand, Joe. <laughs> Jesus. How is that not your favorite? You only talk about computer games. Because I actually play uh, a lot of computer games with a 360 controller. <gasps> you pose. Oh, yeah. my God. Stop <laughs> the presses. <laughs> it just depends on the game. You know, games that are, like require like stealth. I don't like using uh, keyboard and mouse. Yeah, no, that's that. Oh, just, I don't like games I, that require stealth. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, when it comes uh, to first person shooters, you'll never be a guy with a keyboard and a mouse. That was, they had a game that was a PC and Xbox 360 game, and it was so, I forgot the name of the game, but it was so unfair. It was like the first cross platformer. It was so unfair to the 360 players because you just, you couldn't move as fast I as remember the console that. I remember player. Um, a gentleman who was on the Opie and Anthony show, Anthony Cumia, was talking about that, how, you know, you know, you could just kind of turn around so much more quickly and yeah. just kind of aim everywhere better with the mouse. It, it, it was just, there the was just no competition. Play. There's just no competition between a mouse and a keyboard. But then you play games like stealth games, and I don't know why, I just like the controller better for like Assassin's Creed mm-hmm. and other games like that. And RT, like any like Warcraft 2. Yeah, or, mouse uh, and keyboard will always be oh, well, yeah. those games. You need the mouse. With an MMO, you actually need. I, I had um I had Final Fantasy 14, and uh, you can play on the the PlayStation controller, you can you easily can survive. Do that. But what I used to do is I wouldn't move with the mouse. I wouldn't fight with the mouse. I'd fight with the keyboard. But I would use for all the uh, for all the magic. I would use uh, the keyboard and stuff like that. You could do that. You could just Wait, uh, you use the keyboard for everything. I'd use the no. I'd use the keyboard for uh, just, obviously for chat. I'd <laughs> use the I keyboard for macros. You can set it to like one, two, three, and four. Command one, command two, command three. I'm gonna say this. And Whenever I played. World of Warcraft, and I was addicted to that game. Mm-hmm. I, whenever I did all the, like my rating and everything, I never used a full keyboard. Yeah, neither did I. I. No, I bought one of those mini keypad things because I felt like with a full keyboard there was too much going on. Yeah. You know, I didn't need to, to, you know, like the P button in the corner. I need to bind a macro to that. I would just have my little keypad and I would just, you know, use the different like macro keys and everything. I would just do it that way. I never liked using a full keyboard for an MMO simply because there's just too much going on. I want my one, two, three, four, five. Are you like, right straight here. up unironically playing? Pokemon Go yeah. right now. Yeah, Pokemon Go's been really good right now, actually. Pokemon Go, get the hell out of here. <laughs> they've, been, they've been updating it. They have new daily things you can do. And there's a new update coming out next month that's going to add friends and trading. Oh, wow. A you need those. Things. Yeah, I was about yeah. to say. <laughs> so the Pokemon Go community on Long Island is, uh, uh, well, probably everywhere is just... A lot of fat chicks. We don't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but for I me... I caught his chancy. <laughs> sure you did, Becky. <laughs> But oh you also God. caught diabetes. <laughs> oh man! That, no, that's a Gen Eight Pokemon. 
So back what, to diabetes. Diabetes whore. <laughs> so back to MMOs and RTSs and everything. I don't know. I just feel like yo. Why'd you turn the air things? conditioning off? I'm like Tony Soprano in here. I'm yeah, sweating. well, sit where I'm sitting and it just hits you straight on. I'm gonna get like I'm gonna get a cold. Ah, uh, boo hoo. <laughs> boo hoo. You sit over here and let the air just hit you. All right. It's awful. I'm gonna spray you with Febreze. You <laughs> I need it. A lot oh, of people dude, here need it. It, it smells like a swamp in here. <laughs>